So, you want to create some logos. Well, just grab your pogo stick and change the P to an L. You're done. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at uh, creating some cool logos <laughs> in, uh, in, in Blender 2.8. And we're not going to be using your pogo stick, so congrats, you get to keep it. Um, we're going to go ahead, and I want to take this moment to apologize um, for deleting de 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 deleting default cube. Yeah, so um, let's just move on. I'm going to hit shift A and add in a mesh plane, and this plane is going to be what's going to help us out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use my middle mouse button to pan around my scene here zoom on in by scrolling it i'm gonna go to the modifiers tab and uh do some pretty cool things so we're gonna use a lot of modifiers today this is gonna be modifier heaven so uh let's go ahead and hit tab to go into edit mode now i'm gonna go ahead and hit uh i'm gonna right click and hit subdivide now this is gonna create four different planes so now if i hit control z you can see we have one let me go ahead and actually get rid of the grid and x and y all right so you can see right now we have just one giant the kind of face this is just one face we can only move one of these things around because it's one big giant thing we're gonna right click hit subdivide now we have four different faces to play around with um what i'm gonna do is in vertices select mode which is default i'm gonna hit this vertice then so hold down uh shift and select all of these other other vertices we don't need any of these bad boys over here hit delete vertices now we only have the top left hand corner or you can do the right hand corner you can do the bottom whatever but uh the easiest way is this way because you'll see when we add the modifiers all right so, I'm going to add modifier, and actually we're going to go out of edit mode by hitting tab. So hit tab to go out of edit mode once again. Add modifier, and we're, the first one we're going to do is going to be a mirror modifier. Now we're going to go ahead and make sure this axis says X, and we're going to make sure it says Y. So I'm going to check both of them. So now uh, if I hit tab and go into edit mode and grab this point, then all four of the points change, which is super coolness, right? I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, tab to go back out of that once again. All right, now we can downsize this modifier because we don't need that anymore. We're just a little arrow. Hit the little arrow and it goes away. Add a modifier. This modifier, my friends, is going to be a solidify modifier. Now, if we middle mouse button move around here, you can see it has some thickness to it now. So if I hide that, you can see the regular plane now has some thicky boy stuff to it, so which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and turn the thickness up a little bit to maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.15, 0 0.15 meters. Yeah, uh, something like that. All right, so now um, I'm going to change the offset. So if I, if I have my grid floor back on... You can see that if I middle mouse button pan around here, it's actually weighing to the bot. It's actually pushing the thickness to the bottom. So you see, that's not really what I want. I want this to, to be in the center. So I want the, the center of this mass to be in the center of the world. And that's not how it is right now. It's kind of resting on the bottom of it. That's not what I want. So just all we have to do to fix that is just change the offset from negative one to zero. Now you can see it's directly in the center. You see that little, it's directly in the center of that. And now if we uh, change the thickness, it will change in both directions, making it so that it's perfectly symmetrical and even centered in the world, which is nice. Um, so let's go ahead and turn on uh, even thickness. And uh, and now we're going to be pretty much done with that. Now, I don't want this to be too thick, so let's go ahead and turn that back to 0.15. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe just 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Yeah. All right, fine. Cool. Sweet. So now with that done, I'm going to add another modifier. I'm going to downsize that one. Hit add modifier, and this modifier is going to be a, um, what is it doing? Oh, bevel. A bevel, 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 bevel. <laughs> all right, let's start over again. Hey, guys, one button. No, I'm joking. Um, we're going to add a bevel modifier, and the segments, we're going to bump up to five, which is pretty nice. We're going to change the profile all the way up. No, not all the way up. Almost all the way up. Somewhere about maybe, eh, we'll do maybe 0.52. Point five two point five seven point five seven looks pretty good. All right, let's do point five seven for now, um, and then we'll go ahead and turn the width up. Now the width usually, well, actually, I, we're gonna put it all the way down first. Actually, we're gonna put it on zero and then just tap it once, and then that's gonna go to point zero zero one. Now you can see we had this very 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 sharp edge thing, which looks really great. It has a very nice uh, kind of just softer edge to it rather than that. So I don't want it to be super round like that. I just want it to be not harp, harsh and sharp like that. So we'll make it a little round, which is nice. Now you can see if I zoom in here, we have some vertices. You can see some faces, look, which, which doesn't look the best. I'm going to period so we can zoom in easier. Um, there we go. Now you can see we have these little badnesses is, is, is all over the place. So I'm going to hit uh, object and go shade smooth. Now all that stuff is, is, is nowhere. It's MIA. It doesn't exist anymore. All right. 
Now, I bet you're wondering, how are we going to make some logos with this? Now, we're done with all that crud, all that nonsense. How are we going to fix this up? We can go ahead and hit tab here, and I can see it's difficult to kind of see what's going on here. So I'm going to recommend just grabbing two of these sides here. I'm actually going to go ahead and, and double tap A to select everything. Hit S, Y. Now you can see what we can do here, which is pretty sweet, right? We can grab these, hit one on my numpad. Now we kind of have this like little equal sign, right? So S, Y kind of scales on the Y axis, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and select these two vertices by holding down shift, these two right here. Hit E to extrude them, and make sure, make sure I hit X to make sure it moves uh, flat. I'm going to hit 7 to go into the front facing view. And then I hit uh, G, uh, G, Y to move them kind of up like that. Maybe hit E to extrude some more, E, e X, and then G, Y move some stuff oops, move some stuff around now the middle so you want to be careful because the middle you can actually take away from each other so if we go to the near modifier and turn clipping on then that that won't happen anymore so now i can't no matter where i move this it's going to stay together if clipping's on if i do if i don't do that it's going to be like that which is not good um so let's move that up a little bit hold down uh shift select both of these right here subdivide right click subdivide sorry right click subdivide uh now you don't have to follow this exact like actual design i'm just making a I'm just making a design that I just think looks cool. I mean, you can literally do anything at this point. This is this is this is the end game, guys. This is the end game. Um, but you don't want to go overboard with this. Like, if you do that, it's going to start getting messed up. You see, so just try and keep it to where it's not getting messed up. This looks like a bat wing. It looks like a bat wing right now, guys. I got to tell you, it looks just like a bat wing. Um, now, I do want to pull these back together. So we'll go ahead and, and hold down Shift, select all of these as well, just these two rather, and then at G. Y, move them back together, which looks nice. And this kind of looks like a crab now, guys. I'm getting crabby vibes. I'm getting crabby patty vibes, guys. I'm going to move that up because that looks kind of cool. This looks kind of sweet. I like this. This is really abstract, kind of just cool looking stuff. I thought I came up with this and I was like, this looks pretty sweet. I'm going to do a tutorial on this. Maybe something like this. This is kind of like, like a batarang now, guys. Now, what am I doing now? I'm just making Batman all day today, guys. I got to tell you. We'll just go ahead and over here on the side. Select these two subdivide i'll pull it in oh this is just a batarang now guys this is just a straight up batarang oh my oh my goodness gracious guys i've created the batarang i've created the batarang on accident it was completely accident i swear i didn't do it on purpose i can see some lines here which i don't mind that much because i think it looks pretty cool um but what we can do is go back to the modifiers tab and we can go to bevel and now under bevel, you can see we have these limit methods. So the best uh, combo I think I came up with earlier was angle and width. So if, if you can see the edges, look at the edges here. So the edges are kind of messed up right now. If I, if I have this on angle and offset, but, I have this on, but if I have this on angle and width, that kind of goes away. So angle and width is what you're going to want to go for if you don't want it to look like that. So yeah, there you go. Uh, that's pretty cool. The last thing I want to do is I did make some, uh, I did do a, uh, a, a little test with this. Now, I accidentally made a whole intro and whatnot, but this is, I'll show you guys this later on, most likely. Um, but uh, I made this this little guy right here uh, by doing this. So let me go ahead and turn all these modifiers off real quick. I had a build modifier and whatnot on this as well, but just ignore those for a second. Now, this is what this looks like. This is the mesh that I created, um, and I just did some really weird stuff with the geometry here because I thought it would look kind of cool and kind of like aztec -y, I guess, which it kind of did. Um, so then I added the mirror modifier. Started looking like that, which I thought was pretty cool. Then I added the subdivision, uh, the, the, the solidify modifier, sorry. And of course, this was on flat. Um, it looked like that. Then I added the bevel modifier. Added just a little bit of that edge on there. Just nothing too crazy, just so it would catch the light. You see these nice little highlights around here and all these places. Then I, of course, put on uh, object shade smooth. And then uh, something like that, which is cool. Because I like the uh, little hard edges with this because it looked like an emerald, which is what I wanted to look like. Then I added the build modifiers, and it looked like this once everything was said and done, which I just thought looked really, really swell. Um, and like I said, I'm going to be doing something about this probably a little later on. But, uh, but for now, I just really wanted to cover this cool way to make these awesome shapes. Um, maybe you needed something really quickly. I thought it was pretty cool because uh, I did come up with this, but uh, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.